Hey everyone, Tony George, Hump Day Update, DocSports.com. Big day today in the NBA. We have a seven unit game of the month today. I want to alert you to this. Um, a perfect storm, a mismatch. I can go down the list of reasons why you need to unload on this one here tonight. I rarely push it this hard, but we have a seven unit game of the month tonight in the NBA. We're unbeaten with top plays in the NBA this year. They're very rare. You know, I've had two all year long. That's it in the entire season so far. You got guys got game of the month, a game of the year every other day and uh, all over the internet. You can find it. Uh, I tread lightly in the NBA because the NBA is a sport where Anybody can beat anybody on any given night, and I don't care who it is. Now, last night, we had a winner with uh, the Warriors in a no-sweat win over the Nets, which I figured would happen. I wanted to pull the trigger on that top play, but we're on a 5-1 and one roll in the NBA. We have a seven-unit top play tonight. We're unbeaten in these. They're very rare. Doc Sports, get it for free. If you've never been a member at Docs, we got a link in the description below. It gives you a free 60 bucks to open an account. We park it in there. You can use it for the pick. Okay? Just so you know. In college basketball, a doubleheader, a four-unit totals play, which is, when you read the write-up, you'll see why I love this total. It, there's some unbelievable stats for this total. And then a two-unit side play. And uh, last couple of days, we put out three-unit picks, flat bets, right down the board, went two and four. That is not going to work. So a uh, little bit of a change here. And this happens early in the season. There's a lot of surprises. But we've had some big misses, and that's unacceptable. So we're going to you know, we're, we're gonna write the ship here tonight. Uh, in hockey uh, passing tonight, um, we had uh, another winner last night, 3-0, and plus 1500 bucks last three. There's only three games tonight. Don't like them. All football will be out tomorrow. Scott uh, Spritzer and myself are headed to – Stations Casino's Red Rock Sportsbook here in Las Vegas today to tape the 8-8 eight and eight for you. Going to be actually seven plays on the uh, slate today for the show. And seven picks are lean. So be that'll be up later today. So be sure and tune in. So uh, nonetheless, let's uh, talk about tonight's game in the MAC. And, uh, and I'm going to give you a lean in college basketball as well. Um the lean is Michigan State on the money line, minus 145, 150-ish. I'm not willing to lay three. I think they get over on Butler because Butler hadn't played anybody. You know, um, not big on Central Arkansas and Troy. You know, rack, running up a bunch of numbers on them. But I think Michigan State, Tom Izzo, they get it done tonight. I play them on the money line, though, and take all the points out of it. I've got uh, Michigan State power ranked at 27th, and I've got Butler power ranked at 62nd. Big, big difference for a three-point spread, but I'm a little concerned about Michigan State's point production up top right now early in the season, but Tom Izzo knows how to win games like this, and Butler will have their full attention. Just FYI, for what it's worth, didn't want to spread it around on another triple header today. That was one I had written up. So, for what it is, what it is. Northern Illinois at Buffalo tonight. Now, we gave you the winner last night with Toledo for free. Let's do another one of these MAC games. And the thing I look for in these MAC attack games, they're having, you know, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday every week. You got to look for subtle things, small things that you see can make a difference. I don't think odds makers are near as sharp. You know, with these lines early in the week as they are, like, say, Ohio State-Purdue this weekend or, you know, the NFL because there's only 16 games. and uh, But these games are heavily bet games now, and they're getting a little sharper. But the one thing tonight, I like the under 59.5 in this Buffalo and, and Northern Illinois game. This is a big game for Northern Illinois. Um, this prop, if they win this, they're probably going to end up being in the title game. And they're laying one and a half points here. If you like Northern Illinois, play them on the money line. Forget the point and a half. Just friendly advice. If you like Buffalo, take the points. I honestly think it's a toss-up game. I really do. 
And uh, I've seen Buffalo play a couple times this year. And the one thing I noticed about Buffalo is everybody runs all over them. All over them. And I'll tell you why. I'm going to bring up some numbers here of why I like this under. Okay, let's get this squared away here. There it is. All right. Now, you have a couple of high-octane offenses here. So you're looking at uh, uh, Northern Illinois putting up 432 yards a game. Uh, that's 47th in the country. And Buffalo putting up 420 yards a game. That's 55th in the country. And you're thinking, well, wait a minute. You know, and they're scoring combined 63 points a game. Um, 32 for Buffalo and 31 for uh, Northern Illinois. Tony, it's over. These MAC attacks go way over. They're insane, blah, blah, blah. Everybody thought the Eastern Michigan game was going to go way over last night. Didn't even get close. But the reason why I like this is both these teams are very, very successful at running the football. And both these teams are deplorable, deplorable in stopping the run. As a matter of fact, Buffalo's defense is ranked 110th in the country in rush yards allowed. Northern Illinois' defense is ranked 119th in yards allowed. So in a big game like this, what are you going to do as a head coach? You're going to play to your strength. That's running the football because they can't stop it. And that's each coach's philosophy going into this game. They're not going to air it out. Neither one of them got great quarterbacks that can throw the ball. You're not going to see big plays down the field through the air. You know, you may get some dink and dunk stuff, you know, working off play action because the run is so successful. They bring their safeties up to stop the run. They put six in the box. You know, then maybe you dump one over the middle on a drag route or do a little flare. You know, maybe hit the tight end in the middle seam or something down the middle. Maybe for a big one there. Might go 20 yards. But at the end of the day, they're going to run the ball. And when you run the ball, you eat clock. You go on 9 to 12 to 13 play drives, eating 6, 7 minutes a pop. Going to take a lot to get to 59 and a half. Under. Buffalo. Northern Illinois. Tonight. Be sure and get over to Doc's. We got a big NBA play for you. Do not miss it.